Today we are kicking off our Live Learn Love series in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. About 240,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year in the U.S. alone. And for our First Coast News crime and safety analyst Mark Bachman, that statistic, it really hits close to home. His mother, his sister, and his sister-in-law all had breast cancer. And just a few months ago, his beautiful wife, Kathy, who you see right here, was also diagnosed. Today, she is sharing her story of how she's been able to keep her hair despite going through chemotherapy. It's cold. Kathy Bachman's chemotherapy includes something extra on her head. Just put it on the side, keep okay. your head safe. We got you. It is really cold the first 30 to 40 minutes. They put that solution in there and it starts freezing on the top of your head and it's like a brain freeze on triple low. You okay? I'm good. It's called cold cap therapy. Right. Pull there, okay. Yeah. Kathy is wearing this tight fitting cap so she doesn't lose her hair. Pull it down. Now? Yeah. It cools her scalp, reducing blood flow to that area. I feel like I could go out and play some football. <laughs> <laughs> so that less chemotherapy reaches the hair cells. She wears it for about five hours each time. About an hour and a half to get it cold and have it cold, then it's on the whole time I'm getting chemo, and then it takes another hour to let it kind of thaw out. Kathy was diagnosed with stage one triple negative breast cancer after her annual mammogram this year detected a tumor. Following a lumpectomy, her doctor ordered five rounds of chemo and told her she was a good candidate for cold cap therapy. In patients that have a diagnosis of breast cancer, I will say that most of them, if they are receiving a chemotherapy medication that will cause hair loss, they can uh, be candidates for it. Oncologist Dr. Daira Avila Lima says the caps aren't usually covered by insurance and don't work for everyone. The efficacy is about 65 to 66 percent, and it also has to do with the uh, type of hair that some patients have because the cap has to be very close to the scalp. So if someone has a lot of volume in their hair, it may be that the, the cooling effect on the scalp will not be as effective. But Kathy was willing to give it a try. Less than $1,500, and I am supposed to be able to keep 60% of my hair. While she's noticed some hair loss, she's pleased with the results so far. Most definitely. I have a friend at church. She had the exact same chemo that I did. Um, I don't know if hers was stronger or, or whatever, but she lost all of her hair within three days after her first treatment. And after my first two treatments, I hadn't lost any. So it's just been recently and I've lost a little. Oh, that feels great. Thank you. Hair loss is one of the top concerns of chemotherapy patients. Mark Bachman, who has been by his wife's side every step of the way, says the cold cap has definitely helped in her breast cancer journey. I think psychologically, it really impacts how you feel. And now when we go somewhere, she, I think she's got a better outlook to it. And I can't tell you how many people have come up to her and said to her, I can't believe you're having chemo treatment. You're looking so good. So the fact that they can maintain a sense of normal in their lives during these difficult part of their lives, I think it's very important, not only physically, but emotionally. So I do recommend it for our patients. Because her cancer was diagnosed early, Kathy's prognosis is excellent. I'm only 60. I got a brand new grandbaby. I, you know, that's all I want to do is make sure that I'm alive to hang with my husband and my kids and that grandbaby. Oh, she's doing great and she is looking great. And she wanted me to remind you that when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, she couldn't feel a lump. So she wants all women to know a good reminder, get your annual mammograms. And if you have breast cancer and you're interested in that cold cap therapy, but you think maybe you just can't afford it, there are organizations that can help you cover the cost. The Rita, uh, Rita Foundation helps fund therapy for moms who have young children who are being treated at Baptist MD Anderson Cancer Center in Jacksonville. So talk to your doctor to see if you qualify.